we're going to do something a little weird today. <laughs> we're going to try something that's going to get us ready for our next project. And this is kind of a fun way to draw that is called automatic drawing. <sighs> automatic drawing is a really weird thing where instead of thinking about what you're drawing, like if I was like, oh, I want to draw a kitty cat, I would think about how to draw the kitty cat and then I might try to draw it. Instead of that, with automatic drawing, you're just drawing without thinking. You're just using your pen or your pencil or your crayon and you're just letting your hand go. You're not really thinking about what you're doing. And then after you're finished with your drawing, you can look at it and kind of see what you can discover from it. Some people like to start fun projects with automatic drawing. Some people like to listen to music and let that kind of influence their automatic drawing. So we're gonna try it today. And this is gonna actually get us ready for our next project where we're gonna learn about a fun artist and do some automatic drawing. It's gonna be really cool. So we're gonna try it. I wanna show an example. So if Mr. Galloway was automatic drawing, I might just let my hand take over. I'm not really thinking about what I'm drawing. I'm just kind of going. Maybe it's going a little with my words. Maybe I'm just kind of putting some marks down. Maybe I'm just kind of putting some shapes. I don't really want to think too much about it, but I'm just kind of drawing some things, <laughs> making some marks, letting my um, picture just kind of roll. And once I've got something, like my paper now has something on it, I can look at it and start looking for interesting things. Like if I look here, what if this was an eye? Mr. Galloway always sees faces and everything. <laughs> and what if there was, um, I can almost imagine this being his nose. Maybe there's another little eye here. Maybe he's got a little mouth. <laughs> so I almost have this little character starting to come out from my automatic drawing. Maybe over here, ooh, look at that. <laughs> um, it's another little creature of some sort. What if this one is some kind of beast and he has teeth? <laughs> Do you see him yet? Do you see the little mouth? Or maybe he's got a little eyeball right here. <laughs> Whoa. Mr. Galloway's drawing some weird stuff. Maybe over here I can start imagining, and you can add to your drawing if you want to. Maybe over here I kind of look at it and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. What if that were... Kind of a... It's almost getting like a little elephant vibe from it. <laughs> I could have kind of like a little elephant over here. But you can see, I had no idea what I started drawing, and I'm already getting this really interesting picture kind of coming out from inside Mr. Galloway's brain. So we're going to try this today. Um, and like I said, you can even do it with music. Maybe Mr. Galloway would turn on a song and see where his brain goes with some automatic drawing. So let me start a little song here. Let's see, I'll just put something random on. And maybe I'll let my, my brain take over.
so <laughs> you can see how this kind of took on a whole different life. Let me turn this down. You can see how that kind of took on a whole different life just by me putting on some music. There's some little swirls and curls and dots that maybe were summoned from my brain from listening to it. And now I can look at this and I can look for little objects and things that might come out. Or I could use this as the start of a painting. I could add some more colors and details. There's lots of cool things you can do with automatic drawing. And we're gonna talk a little more about them next week. But if you want to today, just do some playing and practicing with some automatic drawing. You could use your seesaw drawing tools and kind of go with it. You could turn on some music and um, see where it takes you. But I wanna see some fun automatic drawing. You can do it on paper, you can do it with paint, you can do it with markers, with crayons, whatever you have around the house. Or like I said, if you wanna just draw on Seesaw, that's fine. But today's just gonna be kind of a light, fun practice day to get our brains ready to automate a picture for next week. We're gonna learn about a fun, cool artist. All right, I hope you had fun, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.